Well, hello friends and welcome to our first weekend getaway of 2020. We decided to go up north, um, ship Shawana, Indiana area and spend a long weekend. It was wonderful. We always enjoy our time spent in Amish country. It's such a slower paced, sort of relaxed weekend. And oftentimes that's just what we're needing. So I hope you enjoy this look at the things that we did throughout the weekend. Um, I will share a few things here and there. I'll just have this set to music in some places. I didn't want to have my camera going the whole entire time or be real specific about shots and whatnot. I really wanted to enjoy my weekend with my husband, but I also wanted to document here and there. It's fun to look back on these weekend getaways. So I hope you enjoy this little look at what all you can do when you're in Shipshawana. So we started our weekend getaway by having lunch at Don Hall's Old Gas House. This is in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It came highly recommended and did not disappoint. There are several of the gas house uh, restaurants in that area. This one was particularly interesting. Um, beautiful banquet room there. This is what you're seeing right now. Um, the dining area was so pretty. Um, very old building, old floors and brick walls and these beautiful expansive windows and doors. It was just really, really pretty to look at inside. It was very hustling and bustling that day. We thoroughly enjoyed our lunch. First, they serve you these breadsticks as an appetizer and it was probably one of the best breadsticks we've ever had. Upon recommendations from our server, he said their burgers were phenomenal. So James got, I think it was either a bourbon burger or an uptown burger. Um, I think they were called Busters, possibly. Um, and then I got a turkey club on Parmesan crusted bread. And he recommended the tater tots. This did not disappoint. Highly recommend this restaurant. And we most always, 99% of the time, stay at the Blue Gate Hotel in Shipshawana. It is a wonderful place to stay, very well kept, it's a very, very big hotel. There are so many of these common areas throughout the hotel, lots of places for seating. If you wanted to do like a getaway or a family reunion or something for like a large family or a large group, this hotel would be really, really great for that. We love staying here. This is just a look around the lobby area. And then they have these neat places throughout. This was one evening after we'd come in from our evening activities, we got a bowl of ice cream. They have an ice cream area, this neat little sitting area there um, in the hotel, game rooms. It's just a really, really neat place to stay. Thank you. 
are at one of our very favorite places when we go to Ship Shawana, and that is Yoder's Department Store. It is wonderful. There is just a little bit of everything, and it's just so fun to see sort of the old-fashioned look um, that they have throughout the department store, as well as a lot of old-fashioned things that they sell. And that is just really, really neat. Again, one of the bonuses for being in Amish country. It's just so much different than what you have in the bigger cities. And it's just kind of like a step back in time in a way. Um, they have a lot of beautiful things, homewares, clothes, shoes, you name it. Yoder's has a little bit of everything. Yoder's is actually split into two halves. The left side is where we were at previously. Now we're in the right side of the store, which is across the aisle. And they have some different products. They're more sort of homewares and um, outdoor things. They had a great display of these cat awesome. clocks. My grandma Ely had one of these hanging in her kitchen for as long as I can ever remember. So that's always fun to look at. Yeah, so they just have a variety of interesting things. So now we are at Rise and Roll Bakery. Uh, yes, a little bit of anything sweet that you want. They have amazing donuts and all sorts of other goodies. It's always a very busy place, but full of wonderful treats if you need one while you're there or you need something to bring home. stopped in at the thrift store in town and saw this amazing little pink cabinet. Kind of regret not buying it. It was $40. I left it there, but it was really cute. And now we are at another one of our very favorite stops, and that is at ENS Sales. It is a bulk food grocery store. There's all kinds of yummy things there, very wide variety. Some things that they have are um, probably like overstock items that are close to their expiration date or at their expiration date. So you have to watch out for some of those things. But otherwise there's a lot of the bulk food items that you typically see in Amish grocery stores. And that's just fun to look at all these things and generally they're pretty good price so we usually stock up on some things we like the spices there I thought these were really fun they were called Henry pie fillings Henry Henry <laughs> that was fun of course I couldn't resist taking a clip of that
And while we're on the subject of deer, we just happened across this deer farm, I suppose. We love to drive through the Amish countryside and I have to say, this is the first time we've ever come upon this. So the footage is not super great here. We were just kind of driving along. It was raining, but there was just a ton of deer out here. It was just really, really neat to see. So we tried to get just a little bit of that footage. And if you want a delicious meal, Blue Gate also has a restaurant and a theater. They do a lot of live shows, plays. They have singing groups and concerts. This is a look at our plate the night we had dinner there. At the Blue Gate restaurant, they also have some shopping and a bakery. If that sign only said Pops, it would have probably come home with us. And I thought this one was really neat too. We also wanted to have a pretzel, so we split this one. This was a different day, of course, not the same day that we just had that wonderful plate, but while we were eating our pretzel, these two little adorable girls were in the booth next to us and we couldn't resist getting a little clip of them. How cute is that? And how quickly do these weekend getaways come to an end? It's time to come back home, but we always enjoy our home when we're there as well. We hope to bring you a few more of these weekend getaways throughout this year. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you haven't subscribed, hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss any of the fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.